This video will discuss how doctors can tell the difference between chlamydia and urinary tract infection. UTI or bladder infection is another name or abbreviation used in the medical community or by doctors for urinary tract infection. I'm going to use this abbreviation extensively throughout this video. The bladder infection is less common in male since males have longer urethral length and prostate fluid has antibacterial properties that prevent the colonization of the urethra. So if male have a UTI symptoms, it is more likely to be an STD and not UTI. Opposite is true for females. My name is Dr. Slava Fuzelov, and I'm a practicing STD doctor at STD Center NY, located in Midtown Manhattan, New York City. I know you have limited time and I value your time. Let's proceed. I have to mention in the beginning that the best and the only definitive way to diagnose both chlamydia and UTI is through testing. This video is for people waiting to be tested and waiting for the test to come back so they can make correct assumption based on signs and symptoms. So how doctors differentiate between chlamydia and urinary tract infection during the visit? We usually consider two things when we're differentiating between chlamydia and bladder infection, a visual exam and a history of the symptoms. We will go into more details about each part later, but for now, I can briefly say that visual exam, when we look at the vaginal area and check it for redness and swelling and assess the discharge at the same time. History of the symptoms is when we go over the causes of the symptoms, how soon they showed up and how they are changing over time. Before the test results are available, 60% of the preliminary diagnosis come from visual exam and 40% come from the history. Let's talk about the history of the symptoms first. Again, as I mentioned earlier, 40% of the diagnosis come from the history. History of the symptoms consists of three parts. What caused symptoms? How soon did it take for symptoms to appear? And how are symptoms evolving? We will talk about each part of history in detail now. Let's go over the possible causes for both conditions first. Both conditions can be caused by sexual activity. Chlamydia typically occurs only with unprotected contact. It can be receiving oral or genital to genital. For chlamydia infection to occur, any infected secretion or bodily fluid, sperm, vaginal fluid or saliva should come into contact with mucosa of the throat, urethra, vagina, or rectum. Unlike chlamydia, UTI can be induced by sexual contact, both protected and unprotected. But other things can cause urinary tract infection as well, such as structural or anatomic problem that can make someone predisposed to it, a change in vaginal flora, being old is a risk factor for UTI, and poor hygiene. For the UTI to occur, the infection needs to be pushed into the bladder through the urethra. It is ascending infection from outside to inside. The next part of the history is how soon after sexual contact symptoms appeared. This is a major differentiating factor. Chlamydia symptoms might take up to two weeks to appear. UTI can appear as early as next day after exposure, but usually within two days. Some UTIs, however, can take three to eight days to become apparent. The next and last part of the history I want to mention is how symptoms change over time. We're not going to talk about each individual symptoms here. We will talk about them later, but how those symptoms are progressing over time. Both conditions can start as burning urgency and increased frequency of urination. However, there are some differences. Urinary tract infection 
symptoms of burning urgency and frequency are usually more significant or pronounced with bladder infection, especially the burning of the urethra part. In addition, with UTI, those symptoms progress quickly, usually within two, three days to lower abdominal pain. Bloody urine is not uncommon. Untreated UTI can progress to kidney infection that cause mid-back pain, fever, and chills. Chlamydia's urinary symptoms are usually milder, and the disease takes time, usually weeks, to progress. In addition to urinary symptoms, chlamydia can cause vaginal penile discharge or rectal discharge, depending on the area it's affected. Untreated chlamydia can cause spotting between period, bleeding with sexual activity, and lower abdominal pain, and it can progress to pelvic inflammatory disease in females, or epididymitis, or the tube at the back of the testicles in males. It usually takes few weeks for the complications to occur. We just finished the history comparison for both conditions, and now let's compare the visual exam. Again, 60% of the preliminary diagnosis come from visual exam of the vagina and discharge. Before proceeding to the most important part of the video, I will take a moment to ask you for a favor to support our channel by liking this video or subscribing to our channel. Let's return to our topic and compare visual exam for both conditions, UTI and chlamydia. The visual exam consists of two parts visual genital exam, and urine and discharge evaluation. Let's discuss each part separately and in more details. Let's talk about discharge and urine assessment first. Only chlamydia gives a genital discharge. Chlamydia discharge, when it's present, minimal, thin or watery consistency, and might be false smelling. UTI does not have a discharge. Both conditions can present with urinary symptoms, but only for UTI, urine might look abnormal, dark, cloudy or red, and smell bad. The last part I want to mention in this video is a visual exam or what can be seen by examining the affected area. With UTI, the visual exam of the genital area is usually normal. Since chlamydia can affect different areas, throat, rectum, vagina, or urethra, it can cause swelling, redness of those areas, as well as discharge. However, swelling and redness is minimal. That brings us to the end of this video. If you learn something, and it was helpful, please remember to give this video the thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And if you want to share your own experience in the comment section to help other, please do so. Thanks for watching and until next time.